Because 2013 has been proclaimed the year of the Italian culture in the United States, I felt it would be fitting <laughs> that I be sworn in for my first full term at the home of these iconic towers. This landmark was built by Simon Rodia, an Italian immigrant who spent 33 years of his life committed to this project, which has become the cultural mecca and the centerpiece of pride in this Watts community. Born to Italian immigrants, I too am inspired by Simon Rodia to build something in this community that will benefit generations to come. So with that I say, benvenuti a tutti, grazie, and Mr. Uh, Consul General, che bello, no? Che bello, grazie. This past year and a half since I took office have been a whirlwind. And I'm so proud of the work we've done together in the 15th Council District, but we have so much more to do. We finally launched waterfront development of Port to Call and selected a developer to re-envision and revitalize the aging village and create a world-class waterfront that Los Angeles deserves. We have forged a historic alliance between business and labor and won council approval to construct a $500 million rail yard in Wilmington that will be the cleanest in the nation, improving air quality and creating 22,000 regional jobs in the process. We've also finished a $2 million renovation of the Harbor Sports Complex field in Wilmington. We are ready to break ground on the $110 million Machado Lake project in Harbor City, which will not only improve water quality, but also create a regional destination. Last month, we opened LA's newest pocket park in Harbor Gateway, giving the children of that neighborhood a safe place to play and giving their mothers a peace of mind. Though I am very proud to be a lifelong San Pedrin, I represent the entire district and the affection I have for Watts is very real. I want this community to know that I'm your brother, we are family, and that I'm committed to serving the residents of Watts in a way that they deserve. We are in Watts today because I've said from the first day when you judge me on my performance as council member, judge me on what I accomplish here in Watts. President Obama said in his most recent State of the Union address that we need to make sure that this government works on behalf of the many and not just the few, that it encourages free enterprise, rewards individual initiative, and opens the door of opportunity to every child across this nation. Well, Mr. President, I will do everything in my power to do this here in Watts. And on a local level, I want to heed Mayor Garcetti's call for making Los Angeles a more customer-friendly government, one who can actually reach on the phone. And just know, Mr. Garcetti, I share your vision. The keys to successful community development are ensuring public safety, expanding educational opportunities, supporting local businesses, attracting private investment, and improving the quality of life for all who call this great neighborhood their home. We need to ensure that every child in Watts has an education system that engages them and guides them down the path of success and prosperity. Watts has already proven that it can produce extraordinary young scholars. At Vermin Day High School, 100% of graduating seniors have gone to college for the past six years. There's Father Mike, I love you. Bourbon Day has developed a model that clearly works and I will do everything in my power to support them and expand that model to other schools. And just last week, four eighth grade students from Markham Middle School here in Watts, Ashley Baker, Danae Toussaint, Jacqueline Sanchez, and Julio Ramirez, Romero, rather, won the Mesa USA National Engineering Competition in Portland, Oregon for their design of a prosthetic arm. Congratulations to you all, and I know they're here. Let's give them a round of applause. Stand up. Congratulations.
You are representing our community, the nation. We're so proud of you. We need to ensure Watts is safe. Between 1989 and 2005, this two square mile community experienced 500 homicides. Today with the Community Safety Partnership Program, the Watts Gang Task Force, thank you Janice, and the Los Angeles Police Department have worked together to drastically reduce crime. There's Captain T, I love you. In fact, this amazing partnership was highlighted in a recent New York Times article and the NPR's Morning Edition. Over the past two years, violent crime in Watts public housing developments have fallen by 60%. Drive-by shootings, once a mainstay of gang life in the nightly news, have almost completely disappeared. Yeah. Yes, let me hear you on that. It's a new Watts. As a former LAPD senior lead officer who spent much of my career under the leadership of Chief Bill Bratton, I truly believe in the broken window theory. The idea that keeping neighborhoods well-maintained and in good order stops vandalism and escalation into more serious crime. Fix the problems when they are small. Repair the broken windows quickly and vandals are less likely to do more damage. Clean up the sidewalk every day and litter will not accumulate. Paint over the graffiti and you prevent more graffiti. If you show that a neighborhood is cared for, you send the message loud and clear that criminals are not welcome here. Recently we launched the Clean Watts Initiative with the help of Mr. Jim Hines. Based on what's been done in San Pedro and Wilmington, the Clean Watts Initiative recruits volunteers to clean alleys and streets, keeping the community looking better than ever. Drive through an alley today in Watts and you can see the evidence of Clean Watts. I'm also so proud of the residents of Athens on the Hill and their initiative. Neighbors recently took to beautify their neighborhood. They're such a great example of neighbors coming together for the common good. Watts is on the verge of a renaissance, and we have a lot of work over the next several years. For example, we're making improvements to the Watts Towers campus and the 109th Street Pool. We are building a new skate plaza right here and establishing a new neighborhood park at Monitor and 114th Street. We're developing new streetscape improvements along Central Avenue and 103rd Street to the Metro Station and unveiling a new public art plan for the Cultural Crescent area. In total, more than $18 million will be invested by city in public facilities and street improvements in the area over the next five years. And I know that my colleagues behind me in the City Council will continue to support that effort. And I thank you for being here. I love you. Efforts to revitalize Jordan Downs housing development from World War II era housing into a mixed use, mixed income development with new homes, jobs, parks, and community facilities are well underway. Cleanup work on the 21 acre former industrial site will start early next year, creating a safer, healthier environment for residents, high school students, and the entire community. Additionally, construction plans for the extension of Century Boulevard through Jordan Downs to Alameda will be completed by the end of this year. Are you excited or what? Yeah. All of the necessary funding has been identified to make this project at Jordan Downs component a reality within the next five years. And our friends at the Watts Labor Community Action Committee, WLCAC, We'll begin work to develop an urban farm. Now my mom, she grows and my dad, they grow their own tomatoes, they're gonna love this. They're gonna work to develop an urban farm, cannery and education center called the Mudtown Farms at the former community garden site at 103rd and Grape. And when completed, this will be a healthy food, food resource for startup businesses and the community alike. And let me tell you about the Watt Star Theater. Many years in the making, with blood, sweat, and tears from tireless advocates like Barbara Stanton. I see you, Barbara. I love you. The Watt Star Theater will break ground before the end of the year on a state-of-the-art four-screen movie theater and education city center here in Watts. This facility will bring quality entertainment, educational enrichment, and job training here in Watts for the first time in decades. 
Children's Institute. Go ahead and clap. We need we don't we need a sit down movie theater here, along with ed educational opportunities as well. Listen to this. Children's Institute, Ultimed, and Watts Healthcare Corporation have all committed to making significant investments in healthcare facilities in this community. My office recently launched the Watts Community Studio under the guidance of my planning director, Allison Becker. She did something similar when she worked for then council member Eric Arcetti in the Hollywood area. This 12 weeks research, summer research and community engagement project is designed to help us understand what you worry about most and what you hope for in the future here in Watts. I want to make sure that we in the city are focused on what's important to Watts. A special shout out in this program goes out to students at Inspire Academy and Yo Watts who will be participating in the survey team. And this is real exciting. Less than a month ago I, I named John Jones III as my Watts deputy. The reason I chose John for this position is because he's an example of everything that's right in this community. A native, of, a native of the Watts Willowbrook area, John founded the Eastside Riders Bicycle Club with whom I rode in today, along with the other bicycle clubs in the area. He's been instrumental in organizing community members to work toward the greater good in this community. Listen to this, here's what he did, or continues to do. He prepares sack lunches and rides these lunches around to feed the homeless in our community. And he does it as a volunteer. Come here, John, I love you, baby. John is acutely aware of what Watts needs and will help us achieve our goals here. I want the members of this community to know that John Jones III is my hand-picked representative. When you're talking to John, you're talking to me. In fact, I mean, you need to see who he is. John, get up here, front and center. John Jones III, get up here on stage. It's my goal while in office to lead the district that is number one in job growth in the city of Los Angeles. And to my co council colleagues who've joined us here, who beg to differ with me or challenge me on this title, I respectfully say, game on. <laughs> These towers serve to remind me of my fellow Italian Americans' incredible commitment to this community. A community I will emulate, not as an artist, but as your representative in the city of Los Angeles. I will strive every day to do those things, but I can't do it alone. You, the residents of Watts, as well as everyone else here today across my district, you all must pitch in and do your part. And together, we can build a legacy that will be talked about long after we're gone. As Vince Lombardi once said, another great Italian American, he said, individual commitment to a group effort, that is what makes a team work a company work, a society work, a civilization work. So with that, thank you for joining in this celebration. May God bless you, may God bless Watts, and may God bless the city of Los Angeles. Thank you. Yes. Well, what nice Joe really job. means Very is every council district is going to lead in job creation. Did you hear? I tried to get you. I tried to get you out of trouble. Game on, though. Yeah, yeah. You don't even know. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.